Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Naomi and this channel is called the Easy QS channel. This is a channel where we help students uh, go through their notes, understand concepts that they couldn't have understood in class, and mostly we deal with building and civil engineering units. So in case you have any units that you would want us to discuss, this is the right channel. We do it for free using our videos. And in case you need private tutorials, you can always contact me via my email, which is in the description box. Maybe you have an assignment that is so hard for you, you can still contact me and I will help you. So uh, in this unit, we do mostly quantity surveying stuff and also some civil engineering. And nowadays we are doing mathematics. So in case you have any hardship in all these units, check out for our videos and uh, in case you have any feedback just write it in the comment section we'll be able to attend to it in case we do good videos in case we have been a blessing to you and in case we have areas or to improve on just tell us and we shall be uh, looking at your comments uh, we shall be doing live classes very soon and we would we would want you to join so that you can ask any questions that you could be having uh, we shall be doing the live classes for to all our subscribers so if you haven't subscribed uh, kindly subscribe so that you can be able to be able to ask questions and also to be responded to and also so that we can help you in your exams as we will need you to succeed so in today's video we are discussing about when we have variations uh, how do we go about paying the main contractor the, what the thing that shall happen is that the quantity surveyor being the person in charge of the costs of the project shall do valuation for the variations he should be able to tell us how much these variations cost how is the quantity surveyor able to tell the cost for the variations uh -huh. well, the first uh, method that we use to value variations is using the contract rates remember the bill of quantity is the document that is the basis of the contract once the client and the, and the contractor comes into the contract the clients and the contractor always base their costs on upon the bill of quantity maybe we have introduced an extra wall that extra wall shall be paid like all other walls that are in the site per square meter all right so we shall use the contract rates in uh, how is the contract rates used Contract rates are only used if the nature of the work, mm -hmm. the nature, the character of the work is the same as it's similar to the other works that have been done in the site and are done under the similar conditions. It has to be similar nature of work. If it's a wall, it has to be like the same wall has been introduced. It has to be the same type of finish on that wall. So similar character of work under similar conditions because if we go to another site maybe the the site condition is not the same maybe the place of labor and the price of labor in that site is not the same so uh, start, uh, our con contract rates are only apply when the nature of the work is similar to the uh, it's similar character and it's usually under similar conditions uh, what happens if the nature of the work is not similar mm -hmm, but it is under the similar conditions for example uh, we had uh, concrete we were doing ratio concrete ratio one is to two is to four then another concrete was introduced ratio one is to three is to six how are we able to price it that brings us to the second method of valuing variations called using the pro rata rates uh, pro rata rates, they are these rates that we shall calculate. Mm -hmm. We shall calculate from the existing rates. It's concrete. It's concrete has cement, sand, and ballast. The difference between the two types of concrete is that one concrete has concrete ratio one is to two is to four. The other one is concrete is ratio one is to three is to six. So uh, we can be able. We already know that the the cost of the cement. We already know the cost of the sand. We already know the cost of the balance. That is what we use to come up with the rate for the one is to two is to four. Now we'll use that same cost to come up with the rate of these different material, this different uh, 
the different specification yani one is to three is to six we shall use the same prices for like for the other one but we shall come up with a new one so this one is what we call product rate it is works where work is not of similar nature it's not the same exactly but it is done under similar conditions similar conditions mean uh, uh this cement was going for 600 now this one should also go for 600 sand was going for 15000 per ton even this one was going for 15000 okay so this the if it's labor for concreting it's the same because it's in the same site so that one we use the pro rata rates so what happens in case uh we there's this thing uh this thing that has been introduced uh we have introduced some work that was not in the bill of quantities we have introduced um, we have introduced doing uh, aluminium windows and it was not in the bill of quantities how do we price it now there is a method that we use to price a work which whose value can be measured uh -huh, which can be measured and priced for example aluminium it can be priced but it wasn't in the bill of quantity for this one we shall use uh, star rates use of star rates for star rates which is, star rates are used where work is not comparable with the given work in the contract bills in the bill of quantity there is no aluminium but this work can be measured we can measure how much aluminium we have used and we can be able to price it because we can measure the areas uh, how we can know the prices of buying aluminium this work can be measured and priced so we usually come up with a rate it's calculated between the contractor and the quantity surveyor for the client and they come up with a rate that they shall use for any work that was not in the bill of quantity but can be measured and priced and that rate is called a star rate so uh the last one is that there's some work that can be introduced that we cannot be able to measure and price for example there was no gas installation uh-huh now there is gas installation we cannot be able the contractor doesn't know about gas installation so what shall we do in such a case we should price it using day works day works is whereby we shall calculate all the materials that shall be used we shall calculate all the labor that shall be used maybe we shall allocate this work to a sub subcontractor we shall expect him to account for us every material that he uses he tells us how much maybe for all the labor that he uses he should account then we shall pay the contractor some overhead and profits above that cost so anything that cannot be measured Mm -hmm. because that thing is maybe too complicated it's for a specialist so that he can calculate and tell us the price we shall just account for all the cost that is involved then we shall pay the contractor for profit and overheads all right so uh